Hey everybody, hope you're well, and it's James here with the Part-Time Entrepreneur. And today we're gonna to go through the ICO review for Monet's. Now, everything that you will see are my own opinions and thoughts and should not be taken as any sort of financial advice. So as we move through, this is the first strategic partnership for Komodo uh, with Monet's uh, and their first big project, which is really exciting. Now, what they're bringing is innovators in banking meeting experts in blockchain which is really exciting because we know this is where the trend and everything is going the other key thing that stood out for me was you know their their mantra collaborative innovate ethical and anybody that knows me when i do reviews or coins and look at stuff is ethics is the number one thing if that doesn't get a 10 out of 10 at the very beginning i screw it up throw it away and start looking for the next coin or ico or whatever it is so, why are they hooking up with Komodo? Well, simply it's because they've got the privacy, they've got the security, they're obviously built off the back of Zcash. So they have all those key elements. We know how great Zcash is. And the other big thing is that they have the scalable payment network. And this is where you know we've seen a couple of other coins struggling at the moment with this scalability issue. It's, it's one thing that they've already got under hand so they can jump the little fish can jump from the little pond into the big pond and become a big player so what is Monet's so basically this is a mobile on-the-go business account it'll have third-party services it'll have professional insurance on there it'll have your wallets crowd lending payment solutions e-commerce it is a one-stop shop and this is really aimed at sort of like the freelancers uh, people that really want to work for themselves and they haven't just come up with this and, and all the rest of it they've actually there's actually some key data behind it as well which is really good to see that they've gone into this sort of depth to really understand the marketplace because so many times I see people say there's there's a gap in the market but is there a market in the gap now these guys have identified that there is and it's, it's demonstrated through this real simple sort of chart here that you can see that there are lots of people that are out there that work for themselves and it's their primary income and then you can see that there are a lot of people that it's a supplement income it's actually larger than these other primary incomes so a lot of people supplement their income and the main reason for that is is that they, they don't get paid enough uh, you know, especially with the environment that we're in at the moment, there hasn't been pay rises for a long time. Uh, a lot of people want to work for themselves because they want to, they want to transition out of corporate life and corporate work. Something that I'm in the process of trying to do, uh, and move away from doing three-hour commutes, ten-hour days, all this type of thing, uh, to be able to own in your life again, which is great. A lot of the millennials don't want to work for somebody else. It's nearly 50%. If you go back 20 years, it was about 20% of people wanted, uh, millennials wanted to work for themselves. But that has increased massively due to bad experiences with bosses and lots of different things. The market is huge. There's over 157 million people working independently. And these numbers are on the rise big time. More and more people just want to work for themselves. Uh, and a lot of this, you know, some of the things out there is that things like the rise of network marketing, people might not like it or whatever, but it is an enabler for helping people to be able to work for themselves because they don't have to have a product, they don't have to have a marketing plan, they don't need to be a finance genius, they just pick pick up the, the sort of marketing plan that they have, the products are there, everything is done in one package and away they can go. And that is a massive driver of these things because people, you know, want to work for themselves and, and that is growing in popularity so what's driving this trend well the first thing is that people want more time people want more time to go and do the things that they want to do uh, very much some of the data I've looked at people are more into experiences than anything else now they want an experience if you go somewhere you want to be inspired and, and all these types of things and the other thing is that we want to earn more money so we can do more experiences but we don't want to sacrifice the time going and working 10 hours a day to be able to earn that money to do it so there's a, there's a whole dynamic out there and the other thing is technology technology is helping people to be able to bridge that gap uh, a lot of stuff that some of the stuff I do some not everything but some things I'm able to to leverage and monetize and create additional income streams that will allow me to step away from my, my, you know the corporate world so what is the Monet's on-the-go solution? Well, it's real simple. You've got mobile banking 
on your phone, which can be set up in five minutes. And they have the know your business uh, system, which literally, you know, you put your passport in and stuff and it will verify you and away you go. So it's really that simple. They're making it noddy uh, for absolutely everybody. So what are the Monet's benefits? Well, you've got money transfers, you've got account balance consultation, you've got quick view transactions, monthly statements, uh, immediate cancellation of lost and stolen cards, uh, which pretty standard with a lot of these uh, bank accounts these days, but in-app customer service, I mean, again, I see the big banks following this quite quickly, but again, for £59 a year, I see that as an absolute bargain. I mean, I just transferred some money from one credit card to another and they charged me 140 quid. So this sounds like an absolute bargain. So what are the Monet's USP? Now, the biggest thing I would say is head over to their white paper. It's massively uh, informative, some real technical stuff in there, uh, but loads of detail, really sort of clear on quite a lot. One, of, I wouldn't say it's the best one I've read. I'd say it's one of the best though. Uh, really, really good, really simple explanations on stuff and you know really outline the problems the solutions why you should use monet's etc etc you know they've got some big uh, players in there as you can see wavecrest obviously you know they were uh, the card supplier for uh, 10x for a little while until they obviously got their deal and stuff so you know there's lots and lots of different things in here and i would just advise you to go have a look at this um, and really sort of understand all the different things within the paper and hopefully I'll be able to explain quite a few of those technical elements today which will help you understand as well so the first one is the language agnostic smart contracts now what this basically means is obviously the Monet's is based on its own blockchain so it's the best way to innovate get the the leading edge on all your competitors to have your own blockchain because you can do what you want then but you can build in any language and that is that was huge for me because obviously with uh, Ethereum and some of the others, you know, they're specific at certain languages. There's, there's loads of stuff going on at the moment, but these guys have got it day dot, let's go. Any language you want, whatever you prefer, you can build with that. We've got the on-demand block generation. So this is just like proof of work, basically. So generally when you've got proof of work, it will, even if there's no transaction, it, it has to be mined anyway. But in this scenario, it doesn't. So it makes it more efficient in terms of the mining process. You have, uh, for you UK guys, it's UK IBN number, but basically you have any, whatever country you're in, you'll have your IBN number. And that's really critical because if you if you set up with some of their competitors, you know, some of them are based in Germany, so you get a German IBN number, but then you can't claim your taxes back because you're in the UK and it's, it's a German IBN number. So that just doesn't work and there's no way around that either. So whatever country you're in, they will generate that IBN number. We've got on-chain storage and obviously this built-in consensus method so DPOW and basically this is just an additional layer of security so if someone was trying to compromise the Monet's network or blockchain they don't just have to manipulate and, and try and hack into Monet's they also have to hack into Bitcoin as well so good luck with that I don't no one's done it to, to Bitcoin yet when you have to do both of them well, that's just pretty much impossible. So it sort of highlights the security element there. So, but the overall thing is that Monet's is trying to bridge from traditional banking to cryptocurrency in the form of Monet's. So some, some real big thinking, some real big, um, some real big jumps in terms of what they're trying to achieve. But again, really exciting and good to see them go down this route. So some of their competitors, there's obviously a few out there. And I'd say Monet's itself is quite unique at the moment. There will be other competitors that will come up, but who they've been compared to so far is, you know, N26 is one of them. But again, you can see that was there where I give you that example of the German IBN number. Uh, Revolt as well. Obviously, I've had that on my, as an app. It was probably one of the first apps I got, actually, in terms of uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, for crypto payments but you know overall you can see that Monet's is ticking all the boxes for everything and this is really really key so they've got a huge head start and we've already talked about some of the other key elements that are really gonna give them you know the they can program in any language all this type of stuff so they've really thought about the whole process and also forward thinking which is great because 
they're not going to run into problems of having to fix things later down the line because they've already implemented it from day one. Now they've got a really ambitious uh, plan and uh, numbers that they've, they've sort of laid out. So some of their thinking is that they are able to move very quickly with what they've got. They've got a, a small but nimble team. They're able to move into different countries quite quickly uh, because of the, the fintech technology and the, all the bits and pieces that they're using. And as you can see, in 2021, they're looking at 6 million users. Now, I think for me, it's the one thing that sticks out. I think some of these numbers are really ambitious, but I'd rather them put 6 million down and hit 5 than put 3 million down and hit 3 million. So that's just my thinking about things. For them, it's going to be it's going to be about total market adoption, uh, and just as a little insight, I work for one of the biggest food companies in the world, and I went to a supplier meeting only a few days ago, and they told us about what their future plans are, and there was five, and two of them was Bitcoin and blockchain. So, guy, people are already looking, and I mean, this is a thirty-three billion global brand, um, a retailer. And most of people in the UK have probably shopped there once, maybe on a regular basis. So we all will all know about them for, for obvious reasons. I can't say any of the names of the companies, but uh, but yeah, people are looking at it. this mass adoption is coming, and when it does, it's going to be a three-year absolute monster truck journey. So now we'll talk about the Monet's team. So now we'll talk about the Monet's team. So the first thing that sticks out, and like most people want to know about, you know, who's the superstar, and there isn't. So that's the first thing, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, if you look at some of the, these guys' profiles, sort of Robert Miller, Vincent and stuff, you know, they've all been involved in sort of tech startups. So they've already been in that world, cryptocurrency, you know, since about 2013, I believe. In the, in the background, the guys that are doing the coding and all these types of these guys are from Epitech and Ecore 42 in France. So this is like the hardcore coders. Now, the thing is this, sometimes it's all about the resourcefulness rather than the resources and a great example would be uh, the facebook guys you know those guys started off in a dormitory they were just so passionate about what they were doing that they didn't they didn't have to go into the best coding school and all these types of things or, or be, be a superstar at google to be able to go on and create facebook they just so passionate about it and and they had a goal and a vision like these guys do that they were just so passionate about delivering that so there is a bit of a belief in the team, uh, and I think what they'll do is the proof is in the pudding with these guys. You've got their Slack channel, they're very active in there, very helpful. Um, big shout out to Jason from Komodo, he's been incredibly helpful in terms of uh, some of the more technical um, elements and explaining them in a simple way that I can also articulate that to yourselves. Uh, and everyone's been incredibly helpful, so uh, big shout out to everybody at the team. So now we'll talk about the Monet's rewards. And this is, anybody who watches my videos, I love residual income. So I'm a big fan of network marketing. I'm a big fan of investing in something, not only at rising in value, but also earning um, an additional income off it. And as we've seen, you know, the secondary income accounts for something like 58% of, of all people trying to work for themselves. And the whole reason is that, you know, I want to earn enough money from my Komodo rewards, my 10x rewards, all these different rewards and all the stuff I'm investing in, all the stuff I'm sacrificing to be able to put money into it. So in the long term, I don't have to work. I can earn 50 grand a year without getting out of bed because all of these rewards will be coming in uh, and I can spend more time with my family uh, and, and bits and pieces. So, you know, that's that's the real hardcore key. So Monet's rewards, going off track about that one. First of every month you get paid out. It's paid based on the number of account signups and the rewards are paid out in Komodo. And how does this work? So first of all, you have over until 2021 onwards, the factoring increases. So 2018 is times two, 2019 times three, all the way up to 2021 when it would be times five. It's based on the number of new uh, business accounts divided by the Komodo price, which will obviously give you what the reward is. So let's work through a, a little example so we can show you how that works. 
So obviously the example we're showing here is, is based on 1% and it's February 2021. So we're jumping into the future a little bit here. So they're saying here that um, you're going to get your five times, whatever the number of signups are, which is 500,000. So five times 500,000 divided by the price of Komodo, which is 150, which will give you the number of rewards that you're getting Komodos. And that's 16,666. Sounds a lot. I love that amount of Komodo. Uh, but this is based on holding 1% of the tokens. But if you factor it down, you can work out you know, how many coins that you want to hold. And you can factor in some of these numbers. You've already got some of the ambitious numbers that they're looking at. Uh, where you've got the number of users so you can work that back so the ICO itself it starts on the 10th of November 2017 starts at 12 p.m. and will last for 30 days this won't last 30 days this will this will sell out before then but anything that is left over is going to get burned as well so that's another thing to keep uh, in mind as well you can use Komodo or Bitcoin and I'm going to talk about why it's good to use Komodo in a minute it's all going to be done by via Atomic Swap, and you're going to be able to store your monets in your monets wallet, which is nice and simple. So now we have the uh, monets ICO early bird. Uh, again, getting nice and early on this, 20%. Uh, you know, and then as you go down, obviously the, the the rewards will drop down. But if you're holding Komodo, absolutely brilliant. The price of Komodo is definitely going to go up as people start to buy into this. Because, you know, do you want? 10% discount or 20%, you always want 20%. So people are going to get on that big time. So but before I go, I just want to have a quick look. They have a white paper. I would suggest, obviously, I've gone through quite a lot tonight. Get over, find the white paper. Uh, it'll be on their uh, website. You can have a look through, really read through the detail. Obviously, I've tried to give you a whistle-stop overview tonight. Uh, but get on there, have a good read. It's in, it's in great detail. I've really been impressed. Uh, the other thing is, you know, go over to the website. You've got the Apple Store and the Google um, apps coming soon. So, yeah, a very, very good. Very slick website. Uh, you know, prices are there, bits and pieces. So, really, really slick. Everything that you want to know. But the main detail is in that um, white paper. Now, the other thing, ICO Bench have already reviewed Monet's already. Uh, I would have done it two weeks ago if it wasn't for the fact of Apple having my Mac for three weeks, but it's back. And again, that's a good, that's a fairly decent rating. I'd say that they probably hit the mark 89, 90% of the time, so that's not bad. So the Monet summary for me, very innovative, very ethical. They've got this on the go solution that we're all looking for. We all want to work for ourselves. Uh, and that is just increasing. The residual income element, absolutely love that. The security as well, you know, the partnering up with Komodo, absolutely love that. Biggest thing is the adoption. Uh, there's a total marketplace uh, reliance there um, for most things and most coins as well. But as I've talked about before, some huge retailers really looking at blockchain. Uh, and obviously we've seen the stuff with Amazon as well in terms of accepting Bitcoin and bits and pieces. So loads of stuff. These guys get 8.8 .8 out of 10. Real high score from uh, from myself. And like I said, this is just my own personal views. Get over to the website. Get in the Slack channel. Ask the questions that you're not sure about. Hopefully I've covered some key points tonight which really just help you understand what Monet's is all about. If you're new to cryptocurrency, then I have my cryptocurrency investment course and it goes from the absolute basics to wallets to exchanges, how to buy and sell, strategies, investment psychology and a few extra bits that nobody else has in their courses to help you on your journey within cryptocurrency. So great, links down at the bottom, it's on special at the moment, check it out. I also have a Facebook group which is completely free, uh, we're trying to build a great community uh, and just to let you know, we do have Jason from Komodo in the group as well. So we've got some absolute uh, top end experts in the group that can answer questions on, um, you know, especially the Monet's project as well. I mean, he's all over it. He knows everything. Uh, so some some great, great support in there, investment tips, lots of different things going on. So uh, it'd be great to have you as part of the community, help grow and help educate people on cryptocurrency. So we get this mass adoption. So we see Monet's grow. Uh, and, and we see other coins and other projects that are really worthy get the space the time 
uh, and the mass adoption that we really need to open up the cryptocurrency space. All right, guys, thanks for your time as always. And uh, if you found this video um, informative, please share, please like, and uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you.